Who is the better sailor? Yeah! Hey, the chute's laughing. Should I pull it in? I didn't think you were much of a sailor. I'm not. Mm, I would trust well. him sailing on a boat more than I would trust me. I'd trust you. I'd trust her there for sure. I forget things. You remember things. <laughs> I forget. Uh, what, <laughs> I how know. did Paul wish we both thing did to do great what job. does uh, so. Paul started fine yeah that's, that's all front back uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was strong <laughs> see I forget things <laughs> was there a moment chewing this movie where you thought I might have bitten off more than I can chew when you're going oh I need to jump into the water again great the first day I got on a boat in Fiji I threw up twice <laughs> the second time that I got on a boat rehearsals. in Fiji I threw up twice so a part of me was like, oh God, I'm not cut out for this. What's it like sailing out there all alone? You're either sleep deprived or seasick. And after a few days, there's hallucinations. Why do you do it? It's a feeling I can't describe. When we did the day of filming where every, everyone was seasick, I actually recovered very quickly. It was like a tactical chunder, you know, when you go out for a, a stag do or whatever and you, you, you sneak off to the bathroom, let her let a few out and then go back to drinking. It, it, it was, I was able to kind of get it out and then kind of carry on um, as if nothing happened. So sure. it, literally in the middle of a take, I went, so good. one sec. <laughs> and then it was like, right, where were we? You know, it was totally fine. Such but a glamorous life, isn't I it? I definitely thought this, you know, I'm not cut out for this then. But how about then you? Then you recovered and then we spent two months on the boat. Did you ever feel like you weren't cut out for it? No, no, nah. That, that one born, day that he was talking sailor, about, this is. no, just born for the water. I think the the one day that he was out, that he was talking about, where we were all seasick, I couldn't. Pe my body refused Ooh. to actually throw up, so I was just stuck nauseous all day long, and that was that oh, was nice. quite miserable. And in that moment, I was like, I can't, like I couldn't do anything. I couldn't move. Taxi. Yeah, they they made him do a scene down below where everybody was seasick and it was just basically a cabin full of puke and they made him do the scene I was because I couldn't even breath, I couldn't even it? stand up. I was so <laughs> well, I remember so there was one there was one take where we were doing a scene together on top of the deck and they said action and I remember turning to look at you as if you were meant to be coming, you know, for us to And I was laying down. And she just was <laughs> just didn't appear. <laughs> so I was like, right, okay, I'll just carry on with the scene <laughs> on my own. And we sort of did bits like rope tying and stuff, but like you just never appeared. You were laying behind this little lifeboat and you never stood up. And I was like, it's all right, it's cool. It's good game. It's fine. I'm professional. Not professional. professional yeah. <laughs> and the only respite you get on the boat is that peanut butter scene. Oh. <sighs> And honestly, those orgasmic noises were real. Were so real. What I like most about that is that I was imagining the director going, "Okay, could you just make it a little bit more?" Well, Actually, he, the director he hates, hates peanut butter. Scene. He hated that scene purely because he hates peanut butter so much. So the <laughs> fact that we were literally making love to peanut butter, <laughs> it's, it's yeah. you know, it's, it's torture for him. Um, so if anything, he was like, "Just, just quit." But he loved the sardine him. scenes. <laughs> no. Do you? Uh, like fish? I'm actually a vegetarian. The, the bits where fish is being gutted and people are eating sardines out of tin. A little I'm, too I'm much. not a fan of fish generally. So like for me, I, they have to teach me how to, you know, how to like fill oh, a fish was properly. So, I was so glad you were the one who had to do that. <laughs> I, I stank of fish for days after. I was like throwing fish at you, basically <laughs> splashing. I was like, oh my God, so revolting. Speaking of direction, what for you guys has been your most memorable bits of direction on any movie ever? Things that stand out to you where you go, well, I'm not forgetting that little note. I worked with Alexander Payne when I was 18 and I remember we were doing a scene so and he just came up to me and he was like, Shailene, stop acting. And then walked away and I was like, oh, God, of course. I'm acting, right? like I'm pretending right now, I'm not being. <laughs> and that kind of really, I think, like not I think it, it definitely shifted the way that I my career went I think from that one little anecdote I love those moments yeah could you just stop acting <laughs> <laughs>Thanks for watching. For more, check out my BBC iPlayer show, Movies with Ali Plum. And don't forget to listen to me on Greg James's show on BBC Radio 1 every Thursday at about quarter past six, where you can hear the very latest movie reviews from yours truly. <laughs> <laughs>